Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Welcome in if you're new, uh, welcome back if you've been here before. Today we are riding along one of our passenger trains, um, which, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, is completely at capacity. We're going between, like, up the western side of our map. I forget what the town before is, but we're coming into Bunbury at the top of the map. And that is where we have major passenger issues. Oh, look, we've kind of got the same train I'm using everywhere. Yeah, we have real. We've really got some major passenger issues up there. Um, oops, up here. Um, Five hundred people waiting. Uh, all wanting to go over to like Gawler. Gawler has two hundred people waiting. I'm going to send 171. There's just so many passengers here. It's utterly ridiculous. Exactly how we're going to do that. Uh, first of all, we're going to do that by adding more trains in. The issue with that, though, is that each of these trains is $20 million. So, so oh, pardon me, my voice just died. Uh, so we can't, we can't do that straight away. We need to wait for some cash to come in. We've got a lot of loan to still repay. Let's repay that down there. We'll just be content with unhappy passengers for the time being. The other thing we do have to do today, other than fix that um, that passenger line, um, is look at this traffic. Uh, so coming into Toowoomba here, it is just jammed. It's just jammed and going out of Toowoomba back into Launceston. Just jammed. We've got major traffic issues. Also in here in Bunbury, uh, traffic issues coming into town, not coming out, they're okay. And they're all wanting to turn left here. So we're going to focus on Bunbury first, and then we'll head down to uh, Lord Seston and Toowoomba. And the reason for that is it's just near the edge of the map, and we've spent a lot of time looking at it earlier. If I see voice just keeps dying. Now, the first thing we're going to do is look at our intercity lines. So we've got this loop line going around the city. It just goes here like this. Now the issue with it at the moment is it doesn't capture the extents of the city. This one or this one. So like there's this whole area down here that's not caught. There's these whole areas over here that aren't caught. So we're going to need to extend that line so that it can do that. And we... <coughs> I don't know why my voice has just decided to die this morning. Um, and because we repaid loan, we have no, no cash. So I think we're going to do first of all, uh, we'll get this big wide road, I guess, with the bus lane. We're just going to connect those up around there. And the reason we're doing that is that we'll have our bus go back down this way and it'll come up around the corner here. Now, where we're going to sit it situate over here, we'll probably put one stop there and one stop over here. And then, get rid of that road, we're going to put a road across there. Well, we really repaid a lot. Do we just get, like, does that income come in big chunks? It looks like it may do. Yeah, like we have a, a year of less rail income than a year of more rail income. Our road income fairly consistent, our water income fairly consistent. I think it just might be that um, comes in in big chunks. That's okay. Um, now this loop line, we need to adjust it. So after Gaskell Court, we need to go through there. Through here, through here. 
Now, the downside with that is it's going this way, which is not what we want. And then Harvaton Crescent there, I'm going to take it out of the loop. So I think what we actually might need to do is move this bus stop down a block. Manage line. So after Dun Cannon Corso, we want to go there so it comes that way. And then we'll just get rid of that crude drive stop. Because it will still cover cover this area here. So we've got we, did we seriously have people like build houses and whatnot on this main road? Why? Why would you do that? It makes literally no sense at all. Oh well, that's what people did. So we've got that that bus route sorted. Um, we'll just fix up the roads in a moment. It will probably need more buses on it. What have we got on that BK six seventies? That's probably still the best bus we can get. Let's put another three on there. Since we've just expanded the route quite a long way. We want to upgrade. Yes, with the bus lane. Down here like this. Oh, I lost the... Lost the route. Okay, we come this way. That's an expensive one. So is that one. Oh, because we just paid bills. We're back at negative five million. We don't want traffic lights. Wherever it just put them in here. And we can take those out straight away. While we wait for some more cash to come in. Look, we've already got people waiting on the bus. So this is just the first phase of our upgrades here. Um, the second phase of our upgrades um, will be... Um, remember that we put this tunnel in last time? Going underneath the city? Up to this end up here. Um, we're going to have a split in the center of the city. Um, over to the west over here. Um, it will have a junction much like this. Remember our two one-way streets that we had were here and here. So we'll bring them out and we'll probably put it here somewhere. Uh, just to keep those two one-way streets through the city operational. If we look at our lines, we've got no lines going down either of them. That's okay. Just going to speed up time. Just so that um, our money comes in a little bit faster. Still got a lot of traffic trying to get through there. At least not all of it's turning left. Okay, so we've got... So we had to upgrade that one. That one. And we just had bills paid again. Yeah, okay, see this... This bread guy... He has... A year of roughly breaking even, slight loss, another year of roughly breaking even, and then a massive windfall year. Um, this construction materials. It's had a long time where it hasn't made a made a good profit. Gola Rockhampton. Why is it it's, a, it's just a timing thing? This other one's really Really not done a lot. So you're our con map line, so you're not even full. Why are you not full? That's got too much on there. They're old trucks. Man. Man somethings. Right, let's get some of these big boy trucks on there. To help that. 
this here it says that it should be sending more to more over here but it's not I don't don't know why because this oh, this is starved of stone. And this has a lot of stone built up here. So these trains... Um, how long is this platform? One, two, three... So it's a 240. This platform up here will be the same. Right, edit vehicles. Cargo. Add more gondolas on here. Okay, so we can do that to give them more capacity. Oops, that was too dark. Do so, yeah, so that will give our give more capacity to the stone line. Its rate is seven oh four. And it needs to be 800. So we also probably need to consider another train on that route as well. And they're going to cost us about... All of our trains are about $20 million. Uh, we had to look at the... Uh, this route... Seriously, in that time, we, we got hit with our annual infrastructure charge. That route across there is also... Let's make sure we get the right one. Oh, we got it. This is just, like, super aggressive with when we've got bills to pay today. Like, oh yeah, you want to do something? Well, have I got news for you? And that news is... You got no money. Okay, so that's fixed it. I now have... A full... Bus lane, or... Yeah, it's, it's on a bus lane the entire way. Excellent. I'll just help people move around the city a bit better. And hopefully, so they don't need to go in the car. Now the second thing we needed to do was get our a tunnel split. So we want a curved piece. We're going to... Just thinking here, how do we want to? I think we're just going to take people from outside coming into the city and get to the north. But if you're at the north and you want to get like to the west or east, if you're at the east and you want to get to the north, you have to drive through the city itself, or at least on a ring road that we haven't built yet. Let's upgrade those. Let's upgrade that and that. Just trying to give ourselves a bit nicer space here. Straight road across there. direction and then out here we again want more straight road up here we want more straight road we want to curve that around like that up. and let's fix up all of these traffic lights that it just will have 
put in here we don't actually want. Um, yeah, we we'll probably want that one. Yeah, probably. Okay, so that's got us to here. Now we need to get our traffic going back that way. So let's get the bigger country road. We're going to split it off here. Look at this. Right, no bus lane for this side. We're going to go to like there. We're going to go tell it to go down. Okay, so we can do that and we can get some slope worked into it. Excellent. I'll wait for the autosave. From there, we want to stay level. Come around to here. Excellent. And then on the other side, we kind of want the same sort of deal. Let's try and shift that back a bit. We want to go down. I guess that's the level that we, we've got to go to. Okay. Cross that way. We'll have. To, oh no. I want these to be that bit. We need to make sure we're keeping it all level underneath there. to get from here to here so you can kind of see it's created a junction under there we can still use the M and N keys to like adjust tunneling even when it's tunnel ready so we can do that to get a tunnel under the tunnel uh hello why did you that. Okay, so there we go. That's better. So the tunnel under the tunnel, we want to accept it. But we also need to change the direction of the traffic under there. This top one is coming back, this one is coming this way. Excellent, so that will give an easy way for cars to get to this side of the city. Do we have many coming out of here? Not many at all. But... No one's using it yet, which is fine. But our traffic here has kind of subsided, which is good. I don't know if that's just a result of time, or we actually achieved something. These things here, we've got the big dump trucks. M-A-N dump trucks. Manage vehicles. Place. M A N. No, we don't. We've got a couple of bigger sorts, which go from 21 capacity to 25 capacity. The 
but they're a lot more expensive a year. Probably not worth it. We've gone, we've clicked past 20 million. So over here, we are going to add another stone train. Just to try and keep this fed so it's at 800. And that rate now should be yeah, over 800. It will continue to tick up. That should hopefully uh, continue giving us like stone here to produce construction materials. And it's leveling up again, so it's going to want more construction materials. Yep, that's good. We need to resolve a gridlock over here. I mean, this is literally gridlock. There's, there's no other way to describe that. I mean, it's going to be done by adjusting this here. We really got traffic lights here somewhere? We don't need them there. We do need them there. And there. But this is atrocious. We've got to get those cars out of there. Now, how does the city look? It doesn't look like we've given it any sort of one way friendliness. What have we got here? That's two way. This could be one way. I think we might. So that's... So that would be fine if we break that. It can just go around a bit further. Yeah, I think these roads here, that's going to come down and this road's going to come up. They're going to be our major one-way streets through the city. So let's get our one-way street upgrading tool. I'm going to start down here. This side's going up. Uh, I don't know if we just happen to spend all of the money. Or if we got build. It's one of the two. Oh, and with these these one-way streets here, uh, we're going to bring these roads into the ends here. Exactly where I'm not sure, so that it's fed into into the city center. Okay, got more. That's an expensive one. It's also an expensive one. Maybe that's that was the issue before. Okay, so there four million and. So we need 8 million just to upgrade those two. And then in here... So what's attached to these roads? One house there. This has several houses. And this block... I don't want to do that either. Let's like increase our speed even more, just so that we can, we can do these upgrades. Oh, I put a street through there right as we were doing stuff. Now that automatically put a lot of traffic lights in, which we do not want at all. Get out of here, traffic lights. Is 
that on the road there? I oh, just a texture glitch. Okay, so that's those main road through the city there. And then we need like that's already helped us. Got the people getting out of there. Just slow it down a bit. I don't like it going that fast. I do think here that these people are we're gonna say Sorry, but you're gonna lose your house. You can like have less people lose their house. So if you do that, and then get rid of those. Now we want our big highway. Down, please. So, this one doing similar. Why are you doing that? Yeah, that'll do. I'm gonna go to there. Okay, now this side will be fairly straightforward to connect into here. So come around there. Stay level, please. And then underneath there. Connect into there. So that will give people a way to get out of the city quicker. To get into the city quicker, we're going to do away with this junction here. So that is gone. And here, we're going to turn off there. We're going to down into our tunnel. Where's the, even the tunnel entrance? It's like hidden in the trees. You just stay level down there, please. Over to here. And then around to there. Then on this side, you just want to flip that direction. So that will give cars a much easier way of getting into the city. I don't need to go through this mess here. It should hopefully also... Yeah, so we've already started to see some cars use that other road to get out. But this is super jammed up now of this junction over here. Um, like it doesn't seem too bad. There's a lot of people turning left. I think what we may need to do is just split this for cars that want to go left. Yeah, like there's two left turn lanes, they're pretty badly backed up. And the right turn lane is backed up because cars are trying to like be jerks and get into the other lane. So just pause for a moment. Because we are going to destroy this intersection. one of the pre-built intersections. Don't generally like using them, but sometimes they're just easier than trying to work it out yourself. So 
one here. Um, streets, country road, upgrade. We want that upgraded like that. That upgraded. Why can't you do that one? So that gives us more uh, leaving. We want bigger here, bigger here. That is okay. I'm gonna adjust that. That way, and this come around this way. So that will get cars going here as they desire. Then on this side. Lanes. See, I don't understand why sometimes it will let you do both of these, and other times it's just like, no, I'm not going to let you. like a roundabout there. Just looks really ugly. Come on. Right. Right. Will you let me draw that bit? No. What about from there? Where will you let it go? Over there? Then there. Come on, get that'll do. That's what we got. And then on this side, these bits will be fairly straightforward. That's ugly. Not the nicest, but it functions. So we set this up for the way that the cars are mostly traveling. And then on this side, we got something to there, something back this way. Just go like super speed uh, for all these cars to catch up. So this should be much more efficient now because there's no need for the cars to stop at traffic lights. They can just go around. Except for these ones that think it's a good idea to like, go this way, come around and then like go back. I saw a couple of you, but it looks like they're getting, that traffic is clearing now. Let's go back to normal speed. So that should clear up here. It's just going to shift the problem down here somewhere, but we're not looking down there yet. We're looking, we've simplified this a little bit. Now we just need to wait for the cars to get back. But we've got we've gone over 20 million, so on our main like big passenger line out here, we're gonna add another train. 
just to give them more capacity. This middle midline is not doing too bad. I don't think we probably want another train on it because it's not at capacity. And there's not loads of people waiting at all of the stations, so I think that's okay. We've got a lot of people waiting here though. We need to do something with our bus route down here. Fill this area that's not covered. And they are three old buses. Let's upgrade them. Simple. Well, we got a lot of people waiting in here as well. Yeah, they needed those bus upgrades. Okay, cool. So we added another train on this passenger line, so that should help it. Um, we fixed our bus routes around Bunbury. We fixed our intersection here with traffic coming into Toowoomba. So we can see that um, Launceston, like everyone is on, everyone is driving because we don't even have any public transport there. Uh, that's direct, they have to catch the train around. Just doesn't make sense for them. In Launceston, um, we've got tons of people going to Toowoomba. All of them driving. Uh, Hobart Summit driving. Because uh, it's like we've given them a fairly nice road here. But Summer uh, actually taking the train, which is good. Now these cars, where are they trying to get to? So they're queued through the city, trying to get out the other side. What that makes me think is that we just need a bypass under the city. If you look at this guy, he's trying to get into the lawn system itself. Maybe that was a bad choice. This guy also trying to get into Launceston itself. This guy... Residential building. Yeah, so he's trying to get to Hobart. That's that's all the convincing that I need to, to do this. I was pretty sure I was going to do it anyway. And then I think we need to one-wayify the streets through here. Out to this other side. First of all, a uh, bypass. So come this way, go down. That'll do. And then at that height, we want to stay at that level. And we want to come straight and up, flag. Just come over here. You can do it. So it won't let us do that because of the depth. Let's come to here. Go down one more then. And then we'll move this out. Now we want to stay level. Hmm, so the whole city, like... doubles down a little bit. Just a moment. Alright, we are back from being uh, paused. 
I just needed to take that call. Um, it was about um, my living arrangements, which is relatively important. Let's bring this out, like, right out of the city. Let's bring it way over to here. And then... Why has it done that? Just follow the terrain. Okay, let's come this way. Let's come around here. not do any of that. Is there a way that we can get it to smooth out a bit nicer? It's super ugly. Um, that works. I'm just trying to essentially put a hill in the ground. Okay, we can do that. Now we want to keep it level to come through the city to here. Okay, we want to come underneath that road and then we're going to loop around this way. Too much slope, eh? Hey? I guess we're going to need to... What is this kink? What has it done there? Yeah, bring that up as much as it can. Okay, so it looks like we might need to go back a bit here. Um, remember that we needed to uh, go up uh, before. When we're going, the, well, we had to go down more than the other way. So I think this side we're going to need to come up more. Still too much slope. Like it shouldn't be. Oh, there's a big hill here. Oh, I've still got the game paused. Unpause that. I just want them to smooth that a bit. Now, around there. Okay, so we'll let us come to here. And then, can we... Oh, we have no money to do anything. Fair enough. We will reconfigure this. Uh, delete that section. And that section. I'm going to come across... This, this way, like we had before with that other junction. You come in there like that. You come in here like this. Okay, now we'll un unpause again. Smooth that a bit. Okay, so that should give any of these cars that want to go down this way a direct route down there once we connect it in. So you're going to come into there like that. We're not going to do anything fancy with this junction. It's just going to be big traffic lights. But that should now... Oh look, we've got a guy trying to move left. Let's just fast forward. So we've got cars turning out of the left lane, which is a good start. There we go. Some are going that way. So that's what we wanted. 